Hello. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Dinesh. Hi, Chad. You're seeing Robbie, Jad, Dinesh and myself having a good time playing poker in mixed reality. In this video, I'll show you how to build this exact same application in the shortest possible time. And yes, it's the same Robbie from the awesome YouTube channel Black Whale Studio, which you might already know. If not, you should definitely check it out. All right, so let's jump right in. So here I have my Unity project open, which has been set up for multiplayer by adding the Meta XR All-in-One SDK, Meta Avatar SDK, Photon Fusion SDK, and Photon Voice SDK. Additionally, I've created an app inside my Meta's developer account. I've created apps for Voice and Fusion inside my Photon account. And I have set up Unity with the respective app IDs. Now, if you're new to multiplayer, then don't worry. I have covered all these steps in detail in my previous video, which you can check it out over here. To create the mixed reality poker experience, we need the assets of playing cards and tables. For that, you can visit the asset store, search for free playing cards pack and import this package into Unity. And as you can see here, I've imported the playing card asset as well. So with that, we have all the packages that we need. Now let's see how to set up our scene. To create a mixed reality experience, we need to add a camera rig and a pass-through layer. And to do that, navigate inside Meta, Tools, Building Blocks. From this window, add the camera rig and the pass-through layer. Now to create a multiplayer experience, you can go inside the multiplayer tab, add auto matchmaking, from the drop down, we want to select Photon Fusion and click on Confirm. We want to add the network avatars and the player voice chat as well. Next, close this window, navigate inside Assets, Playing Cards, Resources, Prefabs, Casino Items and here you can choose any of the table that you would like. For this experience, I'm going to choose the Casino Table Semicircle Underscore 00, 00 and you can reset its position. Next, we can add the casino chips for each of the five players and for the dealer. So you can select these prefabs, add it to your scene, move it on top of the table and arrange it inside the container. Now I'm going to do the same for rest of them and I will see you in a bit. Now, as you can see here, I've arranged the chips for each of the players and for the dealer and I've added it as a child of the table so that if I move the table, they move along with it. Now you can get really creative here and arrange them as per your liking. Now the next step here for us is to add a deck of cards and set it up in such a way that when the dealer interacts with it by grabbing, it should instantiate a random card and it should get attached to the dealer's hand, which they can then pass it to the players at the table. Now to implement that, navigate inside assets, playing cards, resources, prefabs, select the deck of cards based on the color of your choice, select the many deck prefab, add it to your scene, reset its position bring it over the table and place it somewhere near the dealer. Next to add grab interaction, navigate inside Meta, Tools, Building Blocks. Select this window and place it over here. Go inside the interaction tab, select the grab interaction block and drag and drop it on top of the deck. Now this does two things. First, it adds all the components required to make the deck interactable. And if we navigate inside the camera rig, here you'll see that it has a new interaction block with interactions for hands and controllers. Now here we want the deck of cards to act as a dummy for getting the grab interaction events. And from those events, we can generate a random card and attach it to our hands. So for that, the first step would be to constrain the hand grab interaction for this deck of cards. For that, you can select hand grab you can add a component called as grab free transformer and in this component we want to constrain its position its rotation then select this component drag it all the way up and drop it inside the grabbable elements one grab transformer parameter and then the next step here is to create a script which will allow us to detect the grab action generate a random card and attach it to our hands so for that you can go back into the assets folder create a new folder called scripts and in this folder, add the random card generator script, which you can download from the link provided in the description below. Now open the script and let's see how this works. And here you can see that it has a variable to store all the game objects of the playing cards. It has variables to store the components of the deck of cards. It has variables to store the components of individual playing card. And it has a variable to keep a track of the current random card that has been generated. So on enable, it's going to get the hand grab interactable component and it listens to its event when the selecting interactor is added. So when the left hand or right hand interacts with the deck of card, it's going to update the current hand grab interactable 
variable. Next is going to get the grabbable component and then it listens to its event when the pointer event is raised. So when you actually grab an object, that's when a random card is going to get generated using the pick random card method. So if we check out here, it's going to give you the next random card and then it's going to handle the selection. So what this method does is it's going to get the hand grab interactable component of the randomly generated card and then it's going to force release the deck of card and then it's going to force select the card that has been randomly generated. So in this way, when you grab the deck of card, it's going to automatically release it and grab the random card that has been generated. So on start, we are going to go through each of the playing card and add a snap interactor component to it. Now, this is something that I'm going to explain later on. But generally on start, we want to shuffle the playing cards using the shuffle method that we have over here. All right, so let's go back into Unity. Now here, select the random card generator script and add it to the hand grab game object. And this needs a list of playing cards. So let's go ahead and create an empty game object called as playing cards. Then navigate inside assets, playing cards, resources, prefabs. Select the card color of your choice and select all the cards that are applicable and remove the ones that are not. Then drag and drop all these game objects inside the playing cards. Now as you can see here, I have 52 cards which is equal to the number of cards in a deck. Then you can select the hand grab game object, lock the inspector. Select all these cards once again and drag and drop it inside the playing card list. Then unlock the inspector and make sure to set the position of all the playing cards to 000. And to make sure that the playing cards game object is in the same position as the deck, you can copy the position of the deck and then select the playing cards and paste the position. Next, we need to add grab interaction for all these playing cards and also make sure that they're networked so that they can be grabbed by other players and move it as well. And the easiest way to do it is to go to building blocks, select the multiplayer tab and here we have the networked game object. Make sure to select all the playing cards, then select the block and drag and drop it to any one of the cards. This will open up a pop-up window where it will ask you if you want to use gravity. For now, I'm going to uncheck it and click on confirm. Now this will add all the components required to make these cards network. And also if you open this child, you'll see that it would have added all the components to make sure it is grabbable as well. Now you can go back to the scene, save it, press play and test it out. And now when I grab the deck of card, a random card gets generated as you can see here and it gets attached to my hand. Let's try that once again and there we go. Yes, I know I'm in the center of the table right now. We'll fix that in a bit. The next step for us is to add five snap interactors on our table so that we can place the drawn cards. And also we need to add two snap interactors to our hand so that the user can just snap the cards to their hands and it will hold it for them. So to implement that, let's create an empty game object and call it as drawn cards. Add a rigid body component, uncheck use gravity and also add a box collider. Then create an empty game object as a child of drawn card and let's call this as card one and add the snap interactable component to it. Now in order for us to see it visually, what we can do is you can select the playing card blank, drag and drop it as a child of the card, make sure to reset its position to zero and here we can change its material to transparent color. So you can go to assets, you can right click, create a new material, call it as transparent card, set the rendering mode to transparent and reduce its alpha value to somewhere around 45. Then select the blank playing card and just add the material to it. Right now the drawn cards are under the table so you're not able to see it. So make sure to align it such that it's slightly above the table here like this. Then select card one. Make sure to set the interactors to two and max selecting interactors and one. And here make sure that the rigid body has also been added. And then duplicate this card four more times and rename them from card one to card five. And then you can arrange the cards horizontally. Once that's done, you can select the drawn cards and resize the box collider such that it encloses these five cards only. Once that's done, you can check each trigger for the box collider and make sure to check each kinematic for the rigid body as well. Then you can save your scene and press play. And here, if I grab the card and if I place it on any of these cards, you see that it gets snapped into place. Let's try that once again. And here as well. There's one thing that you might notice here and that's the cards are facing words. We can fix this easily by changing the rotation values of these cards. And then when you reveal the card is when we want to see the actual face. So for that, we'll create another set of snap interactors over here 
and then we should be good to go. So what we can do here now is to select the drawn cards, duplicate it. Let's call it as shown cards and bring it slightly forward here like this. And then select the drawn cards and rotate it by 180 degrees along the Z axis. Also, you might notice sometimes that there'll be Z fighting when the card snaps into place. So to avoid that, you can select the blank playing card and move it slightly down here like this. Now you'll have to do this for all the cards. Now let's add the snap interactable for our left hand as well. So for that, you can navigate inside camera rig, tracking space, left hand anchor. And here let's create an empty game object and call it as snap interactable enclosure. To this, add a rigid body component, uncheck gravity and check ace kinematic and then add a sphere collider and adjust its center values to 0.1 in the Z axis, 0.06 in the Y axis and set its radius to 0.1. Now this will make sure that the sphere encloses your left hand entirely. And here make sure to check each trigger as well. Then you can select the two cards that you have already created, duplicate it, drag and drop it inside left hand anchor and you can rename it as held card 1 and held card 2. Then select both the objects and drag and drop the snap interactable enclosure game object inside the rigid body parameter. Now all we have to do is adjust the positions of both the cards such that it is somewhere around the index and thumb. After a couple of tries I figured that these values for the first card and these values for the second card works kind of well. Now these are not the perfect values but feel free to change them and adjust them as what you feel looks best. Alright now let's test our scene and see how it looks. Alright so we can see the card holders on our left hand but before we test that let's test these snap interactors so I can grab a random card and I place it here you see it gets reversed. Let's do that once again and now when you want to reveal the cards you can select it and place it here and the card gets revealed. Now what you could also do is you can take the card and give it to someone. They would grab it and place it in their hand like this and like this. So now they don't have to grab and hold the cards like when they are playing they can just attach it to their hands like this. The next step here is to add interactions for these chips so that the players can place their bets and also figure out a way to arrange the players around these tables. Now there are various ways in which this can be done but for this video we are going to place the table at a certain distance and create teleportation hotspots around them so that when the players spawn at the center they can teleport to a place that's empty. So to make these chips interactable you can open the casino table, select all the chips navigate inside meta tools building blocks go inside multiplayer select network grabbable objects and drag and drop it over here from this pop-up make sure to uncheck use gravity and click on confirm now this will make sure that all these chips are grabbable and they're networked as well then we can place all these objects as a child of casino table as well and then select the casino table and move it slightly forward here like this and rotate it by 180 along the Y axis. And now to add the teleport hotspots, you can go inside the building block, search for teleport, add the teleport block. From the drop down, you can select hotspot and click on confirm. Now this will add the teleport hotspot. And if you navigate inside camera rig, interactions, hand interactions, left hand and hand interactors left, you'll see that it would have added the teleport interactor group. Same thing you will find inside the right hand as well. And now all that's left to do is to duplicate them five times and place them around the table. All right, so now before we make a final build, let's press play and test it to make sure everything is working fine. All right, so I have spawned at the center. Now if I make the teleportation gesture, I will be able to teleport to any of these hotspots. So once I click my finger, I'm going to get teleported there. And now if I'm the dealer, I can grab the cards and pause it onto them. And if you're a player, you can grab the cards and place it inside your hands. There we go. Alright, now we can finally make a build by going inside File, Build Settings, add the open scene, make sure you are on Android platform, click on Build and Run, give your file a name and click on Save. Alright, so I have my app built over here and the best way to test it is by uploading it to App Labs and sending an invite link to your friends so that they can download it directly from the App Store without having to sideload it. Now I have a dedicated video showing exactly this which you can check out over here. Hello. Hi Robbie, hi Dinesh, hi Chad. Thank you so much for joining. Hello. Hello. Okay, Hello, let's start guys. by distributing. Here you go, Jad, your card. Here are yours. And here's for Robbie. So we have three of spades, seven of hearts, and uh, A of clubs. Ace of the 
club. Yes. Yeah, Dortmund. Ah, okay. Oh man, that's that's confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's the value of that. <laughs> that's a hundred thousand euros right right here. <laughs> <laughs> I would fold. I just go all in. <laughs> <laughs> so, we will join me. I, I'm fucked. I already right. know. <laughs> That's how we play. All right. So time to reveal the yeah, name. Uh, I, I can't just take that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The final card is ah. three of. Oh, oh man. So. Hope so we we now reveal now our pairs. Or what? Yeah, you just shove off your cards. Ah. Uh. I'm, yeah, I knew it. You had an ace, one hundred percent. Ace. Yeah, I have nothing. Two. The start uh. was pretty good, actually. Oh, I can't get Rob them out. You, you have to ask for Yeah, you go yeah. all your cards. <laughs> I would like to thank our Immersive Insiders members who volunteered to help me test these applications during the development process. Now you can also become a member for free. Check out the link provided in the description below. Sign up on our website and join our server. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.